You, my lovely brethren, greetings in the name of Jesus. Greetings. It's been a while in this field. I was here when Pastor Edwards was here. In fact, Sister Edwards is my cousin. Oh. So we came over when there was a ladies rally. Okay. And so I was here. But at that time, it was like, I want a wonderful job you have done with the building. You all deserve a cure. You have transformed it. And that is what I like to see. I like to see transformation. Transformation in the world and transformation in the church. Amen. I want to greet especially our deacon Morrison, very good friend of mine. When I'm on the campaign trail, then Brother Morrison would call me from time to time. And he would say, my brother, my prayers are with you. And he's always there to encourage me. And on the 26th of February, when we ran the local government election, I was successful in becoming the councillor for this year. And I want to thank you all for your prayers and your support. I did not get a chance to meet everybody face to face, but I've spoken to many persons on the phone and they have given me their support and I thank you for that. Brothers and sisters, being a part of the political landscape and a part of the church, it is something that I always look forward to because I look in the parliament and I said to myself, what we need is godly people. God will lead us. Amen. And so I have given up myself to serve. And I remember in the COVID when we had to go to the police to ask the police for permission to go to church. Amen. And I'm saying that if we had God the leaders, we would not have done that. Amen. At the same time, there were 63 persons sitting in parliament and we as a church was able to only accommodate 10 at a time. And that 10, we would have to ask permission. We would have to walk with a letter. Yes. Because if you don't walk with a letter, police catch you on the road coming from church. They will lock you off. And the spread of COVID did not start within the church. There is no church that you can recall that a spread has started. So you realize that we are under threat and fire from those long time. And so we continue the fight. I said yesterday at the funeral that we have more parties now than church. Because sometimes when we go to church on a Sunday, we don't go back until the next Sunday. But we see party keeping Sunday, Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day of the week. This morning I was in my house getting ready to come. And I heard on the street the loud music. I don't know if this is the funeral or whatever. But I said, my God. We don't use of these kind of things. First time on a Sunday, people don't play the music so long. And now everybody just do whatever they want to do. So we have to look back and to see where we are coming from. And to see where we really want to go. And the direction that we want to take. The scripture says we must seek for the whole path. And when we have found it, we must walk bearing. Brothers and sisters, as your counselor, I want you to know that I have your best interest at heart. Regardless of thy heart or not thy heart. I have your best interest at heart. And so, we are embarking 
and some programs that will benefit the entire community. Amen. First of all, we are in, we are in the, the hurricane season. And so what we are doing now, we are embarking and cleaning the drains so that we can be able to allow the water when we get the rainfall to run free. So I've been moving into your area because based on the amount of money that has been allocated as a councillor, it cannot clean all the drain all at once. So what I do, I divide the division into three parts. So we have first section would have been over in Cobla, Spalding Hill, Bombay, Allison, Cheapside, those areas. And so we would have embarked on cleaning up drains in that area. And the second segment would have been in the middle area where we talk about water stand and um, shut the area over river and, and so on. And the third area would have been Lynchfield, Top Hill, um, Bethany, and Halifax. So we are on the third stage as we speak. So I've been coming into your area to look at the drains and to get them clean so that we get able to have a free flow. I understand that there is a road around the corner that is almost impossible. No fault of the parish council. No fault of the parish council because what happened is that they plowed the land and they did not leave any drainage or anything. So when the rain fall down, all the, the, the dirt rolled down on the road. But now the parish council get a problem. So they call it me the councillor now to clear it. Now, I say this, I'm going to clear it this time. But I'm not going to clear it next time. Because people have to take responsibility for their action. Right? And so I will be speaking to those who are in charge and allow them to put things in place so that it don't occur again. Because I've heard that it occurs every year. And I'm telling you, I'm cleaning it this time, but I'm not going to clean it next time. If the practice continues. Because we have to take um, responsibility for our actions. Because if we don't do that, then our community will not grow. Right? So I'll be coming in. If you don't have my number, you can always reach out to me. My number is 282-4837. If you don't get that, you can always see Brother Morris. And Brother Morris will, uh, will get on to me. I am easy to reach. And I crave your prayers continually. There is no time now without putting on the steps. I'm not making any votes. But I'm making prayer. Alright? So I'm making prayer on this side. So when the food come around, right, Sister Mojo? <laughs> Alright, so may God bless you. And this morning, I was telling you before I go that I wanted to attend a church because this is my 16th church I've been attending since. I became your pastor. 16 and 16 different churches. Right? So I decided that where am I going? You know, because I always ask the Lord to lead me. And so I, I, I wanted to go here, there. You know how the Lord said, go to Lynchfield. Yeah. So I pick up my phone and I call Brother Morris. No answer. And I said, Boy, the Lord don't want him to know that we come in. So I was decided that I went to Kabla. Normally I go to Kabla before and then I would just pick a few persons who want to come with me. And so when I went there, I saw Pastor Senior. He wants to come. And I said, you can come. And I saw Brother Robinson. He wants to come. And I said, you can come. And there was another brother, Robinson, but he had something else to do, so he could not make it. And so that is why we are here today. And we are here to worship you, to with you in this beauty of holiness. May God bless you. Keep your hand in the hand of the Lord.